preparation is still underway. Mark Namasu joining us via way of phone. Uh, Mark Namasu, um, when we are talking about, um, you know, the mood right there, you talked to us about it's sort of like a celebratory mood. But let's talk about the probability of, um, you know, the incoming governor, uh, that is James Nyoro of Kiambu, appointing his deputy. When are we likely to see that happening? Now, I believe that should happen as soon as possible because uh, I believe counties are also learning from mistakes that uh, they can witness in uh, neighboring countries. For instance, look at Nairobi right now. It has been in a sort of uh, leadership quagmire because with the governor out of office, uh, the situation has been one in which the operations of the county are in limbo and even at uh, a risk of uh, the county being taken over by the county assembly speaker who has also had problems. So we believe that even in the situation here in Kiambu, if uh, Dr. Nyoro successfully is sworn in as governor and assumes office, he will make it one of the top priorities to ensure that he covers his back by having uh, a deputy, a substantive deputy in, in place as soon as possible. That's it. All right. Namaswa, you, earlier on you told us that um, um, Governor Waititu's legal team has already filed a case in court just to try and stop the swearing in of James Nyoro and another team is at the Milimani Law Court's corruption, um, the corruption court, the anti-corruption court. Um, probably, I don't know if the late, you've received any latest information probably when that court case um, might uh, begin and the probability of actually stopping the swearing in of James Nyoro. I've spoken to one member of the legal team, of Pachitu's legal team. He tells me that uh, they've already filed an application at the Kiamu Law Court blocking um, the decision by the Senate, challenging the Senate decision yesterday to impeach uh, Waititu, as well as today's attempt at uh, getting uh, Dr. James Nyoro sworn into office. So they have, uh, those, are, those are among the top two prayers they have listed in the application, but I can confirm that um, that council informed me today that they have already filed that application. But again, Waititu has had a huge baggage of legal problems. So right now also at the Milimani Law Court, they are also attempting to fight uh, the anti-corruption case that is facing the governor. So he has a litany of issues to deal with. His legal team has their hands very full. Right. And, and Mark Namaswa, as we speak, there is a division at the, no, at the Kiambu, uh, at the Kiambu um, County Assembly. A section of MCAs, you know, allied to the immediate former Governor Ferdinand Waititu and a section, you know, supporting the impeachment motion. What is the mood, you know, right there amongst members of the MCAs? Are we likely to see even, you know, MCAs allied to Waititu attending this swearing-in ceremony? But uh, looking at the situation at the gate one, while we were trying to get in, it is very tightly monitored. And uh, the people who come in are closely screened, which tells you that they probably anticipated some form of acrimony or animosity at the function here and took it upon themselves, those ones uh, on the side of Nyoro, and took it upon themselves to ensure that they completely eliminate the possibility of pro Waititu. Uh, MCS getting into the function and probably uh, causing chaos here. So that is the situation here. Right. And um, Namaswa, have you seen some of the MCAs are present, uh, probably those who are not uh, supporting the swearing in of uh, James Nyoro? No, most of the people we've spoken to that are MCS have been uh, voicing their optimism over the exit of YT2 and the entry of Nyoro. Now, Nyoro has been the acting governor, but he has not had uh, power uh, to make uh, substantive decisions concerning um, appointment of uh, staff hiring and firing as well as uh, reshuffling the cabinet. He has been a lame duck uh, governor. But uh, with, if, if his swearing in is um, successful and it is not successfully challenged in court, then that tells you that uh, he will... According to the people that have spoken to the MPS, he will get uh, literally get the county back on its feet. 
All right, and, and Magna Masua, the swearing in a ceremony, you know, the official communication you got from the judiciary, it is that uh, James Nyoro is expected to be sworn in at 8 a.m. Talk to us about the delay. What is causing the delay? Because it's, um, if I'm not wrong, it's 10.40. Yes, uh, the, I'm, I'm seeing people in groups, just conversing in groups. No one is really telling us what is happening and why they are keeping this delaying. And uh, this is also causing concern amongst us because this county is um, one that has very unpredictable rainfall. It's, it's, almost, it's getting cloudy at this hour. And it is looking like uh, if this, does, if this function does not happen anytime soon, then probably the weather might cut on it. But... Uh, we will just have to be patient and see what happens. But now, looking at the numbers that have been uh, around uh, this impeachment, there was an issue concerning how many, exactly how many MCS impeached him. In total, we have 92 MCS in Kiambu County. And uh, Senate was told, uh, Waititu's legal or uh, defense team was arguing that at the time of his impeachment, there were about 57 MCS, which in the argument, they do not constitute a two-thirds majority because out of 92, if we need a two-thirds majority, we need at least 61 MCS. But again, um, the submissions to the Senate indicated that there were 63 MCS who were present during his impeachment. So these are issues that when you look at a number of almost 30 MCS not being there, possibly they are his supporters. So it is an issue that flips the county almost right in the middle. Right, and, and so we're talking about delays and, uh, you know, a, a section of MCAs being there. Talk to us about the presence of uh, James Nyoro. Have you seen him within the premises of uh, Kiambu County offices and also Justice John Onyego, who's supposed to be swearing in uh, James Nyoro? Both parties within the premise of uh, Kiambu County offices. So far, I have not spotted either of the two because if they showed up here at any given moment, they'd cause a star. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I have not spotted them within the vicinity of the area in which we have the podium and everything set in place for the swearing in if the two, that is uh, Justice John Onyego and Dr. James Nyoro show up. Right. Thank you so much. Our reporter, Mark Namaswa, right there talking to us, right from the you know, ground where the